that back there. Ew, this is gross. Oh my gosh, where do I go to next? Everything's gonna fall now. Yellow scent, not saying scent, what? Alright guys, so today's video is going to be an empties video or products I've used up. I haven't done one in so, so long. And in fact, I don't think I was collecting my trash until like halfway through 2020. So this is probably like six months worth of products I've used up, maybe a little bit more. I found this bag and I was like, you know what? I'm going to start throwing my trash in there. And it is full to the top. I have a lot of repeat products. I love watching these kinds of videos. If I know somebody's going to go out and repurchase a product, then I know that they really like it. Because otherwise they wouldn't be repurchasing it. So that's why I love watching other people do this video. I really hope that you guys enjoy it as well. Before I get into it, I would love for you to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy products I've used up empties videos. And I would also love for you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also turn on the notification bell for videos three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern time. And I would also love for you to head over to my Instagram, show me some love there, follow me there. You get some creative tutorials and things of the like. Things of the like? Why does that not sound right to me? My computer is making a really loud sound, so if you can hear that, I apologize. Can you please shut up? Thank you. It just got louder, like it's talking back to me. What the heck? And yeah, let's get into this video. All right, so like I said, I have my bag here full of stuff. I don't even know what order I'm gonna go in, but I see something pretty random here. It's not a makeup item, but I did wanna include this because I think that these are great. These are the elderberry, the Sambucas elderberry gummies for immune support. I've been taking this since COVID started. It's been proven that elderberry does not help prevent COVID or even help COVID if you have it. It's a great everyday vitamin and you take two of these and I also take a different vitamin. Obviously consult your health professional because I don't want to be giving health advice. I'm not like a nurse or a doctor or anything of the sort, but I do really enjoy this and actually I did have a doctor friend recommend these to me, so I have repurchased these several times. I cannot wait to get rid of all this stuff. Oh my gosh. I have the Cinema Secrets brush cleaner. I'm sure there's another one in here to be honest. I've repurchased this time and time Again, I used it in a little spray bottle I got from the dollar store. I just prefer spraying it. This is a great spot cleaning makeup, like brush cleaner. This is like not a deep clean. I promise you like you need to still deep clean your brushes, like wash your brushes, wash your brushes. I do keep this in my kit as well. So I could spot clean brushes if I'm changing colors on a client and on myself. All right, I have a bunch of these. These are makeup wipes. And honestly, I try not to use them as much as I can, but I have to as a makeup artist. Like I have to when I do makeup on myself, I have to when I do clients and i just always need to have makeup wipes these are a dollar they're from dollar tree they're the sassy and chick micellar makeup removing remover wipes and i have a bunch of these i think i could see a few more down there if i'm gonna like be bad for the environment i might as well be cheap while doing it so i definitely go to the dollar store to get some i have one right here already so i constantly repurchase these i wouldn't recommend taking your makeup off with with wipes like i don't do it to take my makeup bar off completely i just do it to touch up anything that like I might need to while I'm doing my makeup or if I'm doing a client's makeup as well. It's not something that I'm proud of, but I do need to have makeup wipes in my collection. I normally actually go in with a reusable cotton pad to take off my eye makeup and my face makeup sometimes. So I don't, I don't use these to take off my makeup. I use it to touch up and I try not to use it unless I absolutely have to. I have some hair products here. These are the Kevin Murphy Repair Me Wash. This is the shampoo and this is, no, this is the shampoo and this is the conditioner. I already have a backup. Like I, I'm already on my second bottle of these. This is probably my fifth bottle, to be honest. I started using this when I went completely blonde a couple years ago and I haven't stopped. Like I'm just using up the bottle I have now and then I'm gonna try Olaplex, to be honest. This is a great shampoo and conditioner for blondes or if you have damaged hair, it is a really, really great. It does strengthen and repair. I love this and it smells amazing. Like I would repurchase this. I just really want to try Olaplex. I want to see what the hype is all about, all right? So I'm going to do that. Next, I have a hair mask. This is the Pulp Riot Intensive Mask. My hair stylist actually got me one of these. I'm pretty sure you need a license in order to purchase Pulp Riot, which is unfortunate. So I can't repurchase this, but I definitely would if I could. And she actually moved to Texas, so I don't even see her anymore. I don't even go to the salon. I cut my own hair. I dye my own hair. So it is a really nice leave-in mask that you leave in for 10 minutes after you shampoo and then you just wash it off and you condition. So I don't know. I really do like it, but it's not... It's not something I can get again, so it sucks. <laughs> oh, look. I found my stash of makeup remover wipes. Oh, my... I've got like one more of these sassy and chic micellar makeup remover wipes, 
but I also have some simple hydrating cleansing wipes. I think I got these at the dollar store too. Maybe, maybe not. I don't remember now. But they always have makeup wipes. I definitely recommend if you're gonna buy makeup wipes, don't, first of all, don't use it to take off your makeup because it's just not gonna work. But go to the dollar store. This came in a subscription box. I don't remember. This is the I Am Beauty Care Dead Sea Minerals Vitamin C Serum Makeup Remover Wipes. This supposedly has some better properties, some more like vitamin C, some better ingredients than normal makeup wipes. I have a bunch of these Neutrogena ones. I used to buy these on Amazon in a pack of like 12 for like eight bucks or something. I have one, two, three, four of those. As you can see, I go through a lot of makeup wipes. I just, I need to, it's it's just a thing. Oh, I have some Pixie. This is, I got this in PR. This is a tiny travel size of the Melt, uh, makeup melting cleansing cloth. Why is that such a tongue twister? So there's that. All right, I also have a an empty one of these shiseido facial cotton these are really really luxurious i always need to have normal cotton pads on the daily though i do use reusable cotton pads that i got from amazon i'll have a link down below in case you're interested like i definitely recommend using reusable cotton pads over these don't hurt the environment more than you have to but i always need to have these on hand just in case because i can't use a reusable cotton pad on a client that kind of thing i do have another one that i bought at tj maxx or marshall's i don't know but they always have them there so if you are interested in these i wouldn't buy them full price i think they're like 15 dollars but these are the softest cotton pads ever my favorite cotton pads they're amazing i love them oh i have more hair stuff here i forgot about so this is the kevin murphy shimmer me blonde repairing shine treatment i actually do have a backup of this because i bought it when i was blonde and it's right here actually this is actually like a different like the fall version or the winter version i bought it like last year before i moved from california for my last hairstylist this smells amazing this one smells different though I wish you could smell it through the computer, right? That would be amazing. I'm not blonde anymore, obviously, but it really does add a nice shine to my hair. I'm going to use it until I'm done with it because I don't want to throw it away. I want to use the products that I have, even though it doesn't really make sense for me to do that because I'm not blonde anymore. But if you are blonde, definitely recommend this. It is really, really nice. Put that back there. Okay, I have a bunch of bum bum stuff here, so let's go through this. This is the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. I already have a replacement of this. It is such a great moisturizing, amazing body wash, and it smells like the bum bum scent that we all know and love like i totally recommend this if you like the bum bum scent i have a bunch of bum bum creams yes i already have backups i bought this one last year when it was limited edition for i think the holidays in 2020 i probably finished it up in august then i bought this one so these two lasted the entirety of 2020 i already have another one of the biggie ones because they're limited edition for the holidays so i had to buy one they are a little bit pricey but they're so worth it this is the best cream you could ever have for your body honestly it is so moisturizing and it makes you smell so so good i definitely recommend those if you have not tried the bum bum cream go inside of sephora see if you could smell it i don't know if you can i haven't been inside of sephora in so long i miss it i say that in like every video oh i have more hair stuff so this is the pravana the perfect blonde purple toning mask i love this stuff when i was blonde if you're blonde you need this in your life because it is not a purple shampoo or conditioner purple shampoos strip your hair it makes it made my hair so so dry i was using the Pravana just the purple shampoo and it just stripped my hair so much and made my hair look so dry then I got this and I just used this instead and it started making my hair look so much better and feel so much healthier it definitely obviously takes away all the yellow so it makes you have a nice platinum blonde which I really liked when I was blonde I definitely recommend that obviously won't be repurchasing that because I'm not blonde anymore oh look I have another I don't know what's spilled in here that is nasty I have to clean out this bag that's for sure ew this is gross <laughs> anyway this is another cinema secrets blush brush cleaner which i knew i had i don't know why i got the small one i usually get the big ones oh my gosh where do i go to next okay i have the vanilla co clean it zero cleansing balm this is the original this was my first time trying it i already repurchased another one uh, but i am going through a different cleansing balm right now just going through it not a huge fan of it i'm not gonna say which one right now but i do really enjoy this i think this is amazing because it doesn't have any polyethylene so it is good for the environment and it is good for your face you're not putting plastic down your drain or on your face so definitely recommend this i think it's also cleaner than the one i used to use which I have right here this is the clinique take the day off cleansing balm don't recommend this anymore it has polyethylene bad for the fishies in the sea bad for your face putting plastic on your face is not good so definitely recommend this one i think it's also cheaper and when i was on the search for a everything's gonna fall now and when i was on the hunt for a cleansing balm that didn't have polyethylene i found this one this is the then i met you 
everything fell <laughs> living cleansing balm i really enjoy this stuff too this one is a little bit pricier than the vanilla co so i just end up purchasing this one because it's just cheaper but i do really like this one a lot it has a really like big yellow scent not saying scent what when you open it is scary it just feels really nice on the face it has vitamin e so it's really nice but this one also probably has vitamin e i think this is korean skincare and you know the koreans they all do it right when i run out of this one maybe i'll go back to the then i met you i might just interchange them don't recommend this one no this is bad this is so random but i have a white paint here that i uh finished up sadly so i definitely have another white paint already mayron white paints love them if you're a painter definitely recommend the mayron white paints i also have the clinique take the day off makeup remover i have the bigger one and i have a travel size i don't know i just don't use this one anymore there's no real reason why i haven't repurchased this i started using the lancome makeup remover and it was like better i guess i don't know i guess i would repurchase it it's not like it has bad ingredients or anything that i know of so i probably would repurchase it oh i have more hair stuff this is the vo5 hot oil therapy treatment so this comes in a pack of like six or seven on Amazon. I'll have the link down below. These are amazing. They're a great hot oil treatment for your hair. All you do is stick it in hot water for a little bit while you're shampooing. Oh no, you don't shampoo. You wet your hair and then you put this on. I think I have to read the instructions. It's been a while since I've done this. I should have more of these, but I forgot to keep them. Like I always forget, forget to keep my trash so I can show you guys. But this is amazing. Definitely recommend it everything's falling oh my gosh okay so we have the lush dream cream hand and body lotion i really like this stuff it smells like lavender oh it smells it's really calming and soothing for the skin it is really moisturizing do i love this more than the bum bum absolutely not but it is so nice and i would probably repurchase this also i'm not going to be throwing this away because lush does a recycling program where you if you bring in how many oh it doesn't even say it on here anymore it used to i feel like it used to you have to bring in like four or five of these and you get a free fresh face mask so i'm gonna be keeping that i think i have a couple more lush products i'm starting to stack things up here i've also got this oh my gosh i remember using this this is the starry eyes indulgent self-warming eye mask i got this in boxy charm i remember using this the a day i had a migraine i don't get migraines often i'm lucky enough not to have them but that day i was like in bed dying and i tried this and it really did help it made everything really nice and warm warning may cause complete relaxation and deep sleep it says it may ease migraines and tension headaches and it makes you feel refreshed so i definitely saved that for this i think i have another one i think it came with a packet too so i'm definitely saving that for a day i have another migraine oh look i have another take the day off makeup remover okay so i have another random thing here this is the snow teeth whitening pens i actually have a bunch more of these because they came in a pack and i highly recommend this teeth whitening system i don't know how you guys can tell my teeth are pretty white and i haven't done them in a while so this um gold one is the more intense one and then this is the less intense one but you basically put it on the little plate the mouth plate that they give you and you plug it into your phone and it lights up it's like a blue light that helps whiten your teeth i it doesn't give me any sensitive teeth and i have sensitive ass teeth like the crest white strips can't use them because my teeth are so so sensitive definitely recommend that they're a little bit more pricey but they're worth it in my opinion i have this truly beauty asai your boobies lifting boob polish i recently hauled the truly beauty lifting boob serum so i wanted to try the serum the polish it was good it was nice it had like some seeds in it so like kind of helped exfoliate it felt really nice it, i don't know that it actually lifts and tightens your boobs but it was a really nice feeling i don't know that i would spend the money on this again it is kind of gimmicky i'm not 100 sure i just really wanted to try the serum because first of all it smells really nice secondly it makes them feel really nice and soft which this did as well so i don't know i was just feeling like i want to splurge on that kind of thing i also bought the buns of glory for the butt <laughs> I don't know. It's all definitely giving me, but it's a lot of fun. Like this popped up on Shower Talk. I think they have a bunch of ads on TikTok and I just, I don't know. I saw it there and I was like, I want to buy this. So I did. Shower Talk is a real thing. This was way before Shower Talk, by the way, but I did go through this in like a couple months. It did not last me very long. I, I started using it every day and then I was like, okay, let me stop. And I started using it once a week and it was a little bit better. It lasted me a little longer, but I don't know. We'll see. I might repurchase that if I'm feeling like frisky or something. I also have the Juno & Co. Clean Up Your Act Solid Cleansing Balm bar bar i want to try the balm by the way because they recently came out with a juno skin type thing but this is for your sponges 
Honestly, I stopped buying sponge cleaners. I started using Zote, which you could buy at Walmart and it's cheaper than this. And I just use Zote to clean my makeup brushes anyway. So I was like, why am I buying a sponge cleaner when I could just use Zote? But this is a really nice sponge cleaner if you're in the market for one, it is nice. It's um, also pretty affordable. Juno Co. generally is pretty affordable, but I definitely recommend Zote over that. All right, we're getting down to like the makeup stuff, I think. Oh wait, no. I have a Kosas deodorant here. I should have another one. I don't know where it went though, but this is the Kosas deodorant Serene Clean Chemistry AHA serum deodorant this is a serum deodorant i already have a new one this is the only deodorant i can use and i'm a smelly person i admit this all the time when i talk about this product because i smell bad like i have bo i've always had bo it's just like a hormonal thing it's gotten a lot better throughout the years like as an adult i'm not as smelly like i definitely had my teenage phase of a smelly teenager type thing this is really really nice it really helps it has really good ingredients it has clean ingredients it doesn't have the aluminum that normal deodorants have but it is very very liquidy so that's the only downside to it because you do have to wait till your armpits dry like before you put on clothes because otherwise you're gonna have the wet spots there it really helps your armpits stay nice and white as well it has really good ingredients and i definitely recommend it this, this is my favorite deodorant like i constantly repurchase it i did buy i should have it in here but i don't see it in here the one with no scent this one does have a scent i prefer the one with the scent so that you know you actually put something on for some reason like i feel like with the other one i just felt like i needed to keep reapplying because i didn't smell it on me for some reason even though it doesn't smell really strong this one it's a really like fresh scent it just it made me feel better that i've had it i don't know if you're in the market for a natural deodorant that doesn't have aluminum highly recommend that one okay i also have this ofra after makeup cleansing balm don't like this whatsoever i did receive it through octoly so i did get it for free i did not enjoy this whatsoever it does take off your makeup really really well but I had a hard time taking the actual product off of my face. That's how like stuck it gets to your face. It was really thick and goopy and it had like particles of something and it reminds me of the cleansing balm I'm using right now, which I really, really hate. And when I talk about that in my next products I've used up, I'm gonna tell you right now that I'm not gonna be repurchasing that one either and it's much more affordable than this one. I wanna try more Ofer skincare because I've heard great things, but this is just, this was a huge miss for me. Did not enjoy that whatsoever. I have a little sample of the Milk Makeup Vegan Moisturizer. I think I got the sample first before i bought the big thing but honestly i'm almost out of my big one that's going to be in my next empties video i love this moisturizer i'm going to continue to repurchase it i do have a few more moisturizers to go through in my collection though but i do love this i think it's really really nice and thick and it's great for dry skin so if you have dry skin definitely recommend that oh i have a bunch of these benefit brow pencils i love the benefit brow pencils this is precisely my brow this is when i first did the like fluffy brow the soap brow i would soap down my brows and then just start drawing the lines with the brow pencil I've been more into pomades lately and I've also been into brow pens instead of this I think I have a bunch in my collection because I'm on the benefit PR list So they do send me some occasionally I have to get my new shade though because I'm probably like shade 5 now I'm trying to do my eyebrows black But yeah, I do like these. They're a great brow pencil. If you like brow pencils, you'll love these I have the kiss lash glue liner as you can see the top is missing this dried out in like a week when I got it That's the only downside to this it definitely dries out super quickly because the top doesn't stay on very well I have to make sure the top I have the black one and it so far no issues Which is amazing, but I just had it sitting in my makeup drawer and it just kind of like undid itself and then when i went to go use it the next time it was dry this is a great lash glue though it, it does hold on your lashes it is surprisingly good honestly i didn't think it was going to be that good but it is i don't know this is something that i probably won't repurchase i'd rather use normal lash glue even though that saved me a ton of time i just don't think it was worth the hassle in my opinion because you have to put your lashes on right away and like you have to put a lot more in the inner corner for it not to lift. I don't know. I prefer my normal kiss lash glue to be honest. I have the, the silk canvas. I actually purchased, where is it? It should be in here. I'm missing some stuff I feel like, but it's okay. I definitely should have had the liquid silk canvas as well because I went through that recently as well. But this is the normal, the balm the silk canvas balm and i already have a backup this is a pricey primer but if you have textured skin if you need smoothing primer this is the one for you honestly i rarely have a bad foundation day because of this primer i highly recommend it if you're looking for a new primer definitely going to be one that i constantly repurchase okay i'm down to the last few things here all right so i have the tarte shape tape this is like my fifth tube of this this is my absolute favorite 
concealer. It's funny, this morning I posted a TikTok on my favorite and least favorite concealers and it actually went semi-viral for my small TikTok account. And everyone was like, Tarte Shape Tape is so drying. And I'm like, I don't get it. And they're like, I have oily skin. How is it drying for oily skin? I don't know, this works so well for me. This is a constant repurchase of mine. This is my favorite concealer of all time. It's really, really full coverage, but it brightens under the eyes. And it, I don't know, it's so smooth and creaseless. I don't know what people, I don't know. It is amazing. I've got the P. Louise base. This is, this is, yeah, I cut it open to try to get out all the product I have. I already have a backup. I always have a backup, but this is a, an amazing eyeshadow base. If you want your eyeshadow to pop, definitely recommend this. I mixed it in with a little bit of concealer because I like that consistency a little bit more, but this is amazing. I love, love, love this eyeshadow base. Constantly will repurchase that. Next, I have this Kylie eyeliner pencil. This died, like it literally I didn't even notice when it happened, but it came out of the tube. And I'm like so upset. It was a pencil and it was a really good pencil. It's very comparable to the Urban Decay and the ColourPop ones. Well, they're made on the same lab as the ColourPop ones, to be honest. They're very, very creamy and they're really good for the waterline, but they stay in place, which is amazing. It's really hard to come by a creamy liner that stays in the waterline. But this one was really good. I'm just like disappointed that something so expensive like this just actually just physically came out of the tube. I don't know. It was a great liner while well, it lasted i would probably repurchase it if i didn't have so many color pop lip liners and i'm just i generally don't use black eyeliner i meant eyeliner not lip liner i'm just so into lip liner lately that whatever i just don't generally use black eyeliner in the waterline so i use colors so yeah i have a lipstick that's forever my holy grail this is the color pop aquarius lippy sticks this is a cream formula it's not matte so it's very juicy and hydrating on the lips i already repurchased one they're so affordable but this is my perfect everyday nude it's such a great everyday lipstick i will forever repurchase this if they have it i already have a backup though and the last thing i have is the jouet this is the lip cream in the shade Terra. i remember when i bought this it was at gen beauty la i honestly did not use this very much it is a perfect nude shade I went to Gen Beauty and I bought it at their booth because they were having a major sale and I was like, I want something from Jouer. This was my first thing I ever purchased besides, oh, I did get a highlighter, I'm pretty sure. But it is just so dried out. I cannot use it anymore. I don't know what happened to it, but I barely did use it to be honest. And I dried out pretty quickly. Although I went to Gen Beauty LA like in 2017. So it's been like four years. So I don't know, maybe lip the lipstick shouldn't last four years. But yeah, that's everything in my empties slash products I've used up. I cannot wait to rest recycle all this stuff that i can recycle oh my gosh it's been sitting here for so long let me know what products you've used up lately and if you would repurchase them let me know if you've used any products that i have talked about and if you would repurchase them and just let me know all your thoughts in the comments let's have a conversation and yeah that's it for this video i really hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up it helps me out so so much please subscribe if you haven't already i'll see you guys in my next video bye all right guys so today's video is going to be a and i also have this I have, but it really actually helps your armpits stay, of course they fall. So I definitely had the liquid self canvas, blah, blah, blah. I definitely had the liquid self, what the heck? I definitely had